evening thank you so much for choosing to be part of us this very monday uh, actually our conversation is kind of digressing from what is happening because so many people love reggae and uh, <laughs> anyway so we want to look at nairobi county under uh, the go uh, state governance and this is in regards to what happened last week on tuesday uh, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko decided to cede some powers to the state. Now we will be looking into the legal questions that raise eyebrows on is it constitutional to have the what okay one of the counties uh, managed by the government okay what Sonko is saying is uh, it's true there's no country or any uh, any part of the nation worldwide where the national government doesn't have a say but now he has given some say to the state so there are so many uh, questions right there there are also questions of misappropriation of funds in terms of the tenders awarded there are two scenarios that are uh, have been looked into we'll be also talking about his uh, stay in power there's a looming impeachment will it stand will it fail Keep it Y254, send in your com comments to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. My guest this morning is a political analyst, Litswa Cyrus. Thank Welcome. You. How are you? I'm very fine, and you? I'm very well. Good to have you. Thank you. Uh, I, I want you to, to tell me, in a single statement, do you love reggae? Uh, I, I love reggae. You love it? Uh, yes, I love, I love reggae. Okay, there are people who want reggae to stop <laughs> and others want it to continue. <laughs> anyway... Now, uh, just like I have said earlier, mm. uh, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko, uh, many would, would call him embattled governor, uh, just because he's out, he's not allowed to be in office. But he has, he has done some things that people will be like, okay, does it exist in the Constitution? Ceding power to the state mm. or to the state house. What does it mean? Is it in the Constitution? Mm. Yes. Ah, thank you for having me this morning. I think what has uh, happened to Nairobi City County, mm. it's something within the Constitution. Although there was a breach of the Constitution itself, mm -hmm. but when you look at Article 187 of the Constitution, it allows the, the national government to take over a county uh, in, in case there are uh, arising issues like... Uh, um, let me say emergency issues are not in the capacity the county is in mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, what we can say is that uh, why did I say the, the, the law has been one, in one way or the other been overlooked? Yeah. One, Governor Sonko is facing graft charges. While well, facing graft charges, the judge asked Sonko to remain out of office, not to exercise any, mm -hmm. any, 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 any official duty, be it outside, concerning the county, right. be it outside or within the county itself, mm -hmm. okay, the county offices. So he was barred from all these things within the, by the, by, by the court ruling. Okay. But now, by allowing Sonko to come and sign the document, it shows that this guy is still in power and is still practicing what he has been asked not to mm -hmm. by, the, by, the, by, by, by the courts. Mm -hmm. Now, this one shows that we don't respect our courts. We put them there. Mm -hmm. We need justice from them. But we are not ready to deliver justice mm -hmm. and to our courts, the way they direct us to do. See, justice is a two-way traffic. If I'm issued with directives from the court, I should respect them. It's also part of, uh, part of exercising our justice. Mm -hmm. But when the, the, the courts issue orders and I don't respect them, then there's no justice there. Mm -hmm. Then another issue is that I believe uh, uh, what uh, the, uh, the, the, the state did eh, mm -hmm. on Nairobi County, mm -hmm. let me take it that the, the, the national government is trying to look on how it can manage mm -hmm. Nairobi City County without a governor. Mm -hmm. Because there have been calls that uh, Nairobi should be under a minister, metropol metropolitan minister. Mm -hmm. And, I, believe, and I, I tend to think 
whatever the, 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 the national government has done, the, the agreement between the, 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 let me say, Sonko and the, the national government, they are trying to look or they are trying to, uh, uh, yeah, they are trying to study what if a minister can manage the county government. And that's why you saw that there are the key services that the county has to deliver to its people were taken over by the national government. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe because there have been calls that let us have a minister mm -hmm. in the, uh, within the city who should manage the city and not a governor. Mm -hmm. So this, I believe, that some of the things that the, the, the state wants to work on. Because, you see, it is not only uh, Nairobi County that has issues. Mm -hmm. We have, we've had Kiambu, which they have already sorted their issues mm -hmm. through impeachment and now appointing and uh, swearing in the deputy governor okay. as the governor right now. Mm -hmm. Now that case has already been solved. We have Samburu, which has also s the same, same issues that, the corruption issues that has made the governor not to exercise his duties, right. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the question we are asking ourselves, why not Samburu and Nairobi County? Mm -hmm. And that's why I look, it into, I look into that issue with that perspective. Maybe the national government wants to try and see what if this one can be under a minister. And that's why the devolution minister, mm -hmm. uh, the devolution CS, Eugene, was the one entering into a, a contract with the, the, the governor. And you see they're saying this is a, a two-year thing, a 24-month thing that needs to be renewed mm. okay but also still in the same vein uh do we need a technocrat in nairobi county or we need a politician because a minister coming in should be a uh, technocrat to some extent uh nairobi county is a county like any other county despite the, be, it being a city it is a county mm -hmm. it is it has its own people that also need to exercise their own rights. They also need to have their own leader. They also need services. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the same structures that we have in Nairobi County are the same structures that we have in other uh, 46 counties. We have the wards, we have the sub-counties, and uh, other things, okay? Mm -hmm. So these things need to be addressed uh, by the by, by by the government of Nairobi County, okay. So we cannot say that uh, Nairobi County is an exception. No, when we say it's an exception, then we need to look at Mombasa. It's also a city, and it's on now. We need to look at it. Mm -hmm. Should it also be managed the same way? That's well, right. these are some of the these are the cities that contribute uh, on the light, on, on 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 the GDP mm -hmm. through uh, the economic activity. Because right. Nairobi being a city, it has uh, offices where people migrate to Nairobi mostly for employment, looking for employment. Mm -hmm. And mass, most of industries are in Nairobi also. Right. Now, Nene, Mombasa being a city, it has a port and other amenities that create uh, employment that make people move from their rural areas mm -hmm. to Mombasa city. Right. Now, when we say that... Uh, Na, 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 Nairobi should not be under a governor, mm -hmm. then we should question ourselves, should also Mombasa not be under a governor, but under also a minister. Or so even, these are some of the things that also we need to sit down and question. Because if it is a state that is also in, in Mombasa, mm -hmm. there also Kisumu is a city. Also Kisumu <laughs> is a city. Also Nakuru is a city. Mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, lived uh, the other, it was it there last year. It's also a city. So we have four cities in this country. So okay. when we are looking and saying Nairobi should be, un be under a minister, one day, one time, we may have like 10 cities in this country. Will they all be under a minister? Then devolution will be losing its meaning. Then devolution is losing its meaning. The, so there's something you mentioned. Uh, okay, now it is uh, provided in the constitution. But now there's also something that he did. He reshuffled the, uh, the cabinet still out his cabinet that is and uh, there were questions because of the uh, some of the questions on misappropriation of funds like the tender that was awarded to uh, uh, to 
the wall that was being built in Dandora. And uh, questions were like, why reshuffle when you know already the, there are questions being asked by the Auditor General? So was it also right for him to reshuffle or still it's a mere ignorance of the court order? Yeah, looking at the court order, it was very clear. And I remember when Governor Lenok Lal tried to reshuffle his cabinet, you saw what happened, to, what the DPP had to say about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what we need to to do is, as I said earlier, we need to respect our courts. And by respecting our courts is not only by looking at the courts issuing the, the, the justice that will, uh, will make me happy mm -hmm. as an individual, but I as an individual who has been issued directives, directives by the courts, I should be able to respect those directives. And uh, you see, the, que the question of corruption and why is it that the judge say that he should not exercise any, mm -hmm. uh, uh, any his, uh, executive roles or any duties mm -hmm. in the county? It was because he will interfere with the witness in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Because the people who signed that contract or approved the contract, okay, they are the ones that are being reshuffled, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you say, you want now to question this person, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, how will you question this person? And he's out of office because when I'm leaving the office, I'm leaving some documents, okay? And some truth as well. And some truth that I'm running away with. But you see, when I'm there, mm -hmm. then I'll be there. It will be easier for me to answer than when I'm outside. Because I'll tell you, I changed the office. Mm. Then someone, is, is, someone else is in that office. Mm -hmm. So it is very difficult for me to answer or to respond to your queries when I'm out of that office. Sure. But it becomes more easier when I'm within that office. Because they, when investigations are being carried, mm -hmm. okay, it will be more easier to find the truth in that office, unlike when someone is out. Mm -hmm. okay? So those are, those are some of the things that we need to look into. And because the corruption things have become like a pandemic or a big problem to this country. These are some of the things that, and that's why we are saying we need to have corruption cases to be speeded up. Because if we can have a timeline of uh, corruption cases, somebody has been accused of corruption, then let us say we have like 24 days to get a determination, especially these governors, the, the, the ministers, and mm -hmm. any other state officers. Then we shall have the right uh, the, the right mechanisms to reach into and say that actually this person is clean or not clean. Mm -hmm. But when we don't have a timeline on these cases of corruption, mm -hmm. then we shall just continue having the same problems of corruption. Mm. All right. Actually, uh, even as you speak about corruption, uh, I just mentioned uh, some corruption cases that have been mentioned, or even uh, I should put it as it is, we have a stalled project along uh, Enterprise Road. Mm -hmm. uh, that road has been there for quite some time, and uh, the elite ITS Limited is being questioned, why don't you do this? And I remember there was a time a person, or someone here was trying to tell me, he went to some place in Mombasa Road mm -hmm. and spent hours, and when he was coming back, the people he left at the construction site seated, they were still seated for hours, nothing they were doing. And this is a project that has been paid for. Again, uh, that question in uh, Dandora, the, the, the audit shows money has been paid twice. And so the KRA is coming in. We know you are paid. So remit your taxes. Uh, one, in, one thing, in one area on that, first of all, I look at the KRA. The KRA also has laxity because when someone is, uh, has already been paid, there's what we call withholding tax, right. which is deducted immediately, mm -hmm. okay, from the source. Mm -hmm. It is deducted and sent to the carrier. Mm -hmm. So when you are raising queries, is it the right time to raise queries right now when, when the money is already, uh, has already left the bank? to do other things, mm -hmm. or the, the time you should raise queries is when the money has been already remitted to the bank. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, you, they can issue a communication to the bank 
that they are investigating that money, so they should flag that account. Right. Okay? Because when services are delivered, there's what we call withholding tax. Mm -hmm. Okay? This shows that you've been paid. Okay? And these are the, 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 these are the taxes that you need to pay to the government. Mm -hmm. So already the money was sent. Before the money is uh, remitted to the account, withholding tax is already remitted to KRA. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when KRA now comes in, after the money has been spent, mm -hmm. it's just what we call uh, PR. Okay? Because where were you when you received the withholding tax? The first withholding tax, then you received the second withholding tax. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you question? Because I believe mm -hmm. the same amount that was sent for the withholding tax is the same uh, at the first time, is the mm -hmm. same, same amount that was sent at the second time, mm -hmm. if they had been paid twice. Which I don't dispute, but I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, let us all be vigilant, let us all play our roles the way, in the best way possible for okay. the interest of Kenyans. So when KRA comes in right now to tell us all about this, mm -hmm. it has been sent, it has been paid twice, my question is, where were you? Where, 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 why is it that you didn't respond? Mm -hmm. Okay, why is it that you didn't act when withholding tax was sent to you twice? All right. Okay, mm -hmm. because withholding tax was deducted twice. Mm -hmm. Where, why is it that you didn't respond? Or we can say withholding tax was not sent. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we can go and confirm all this because there's what what care issues is what we call withholding certificate. It issues once it has been deducted. So we want, we need to look all in, into all this. Mm -hmm. Then we know who is telling the truth and who is telling the lie. Um, maybe the cartels that the governor keeps saying are, are becoming smarter by day. They, they, they were able to loop that and KRA didn't realize until it was too late. No. There's one thing I can say, and that's why I'm really insisting on the Kenya Revenue Authority. Mm -hmm. Because once mm -hmm. I've delivered a service, to an institution, especially a government institution, not in, only even a government institution, and I'm supposed to send or to remit withholding tax. Okay, mm -hmm. the withholding tax is cut from the source, or maybe probably I'm not, I'm not, it never uh, go, it, went it, through the banks. No, 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 it's not. That's huge. Uh, th th that's huge amount of money. Now, how how was it? Paid? Uh, you, you remember uh, during the past regime, it was said money was being moved in bank, uh, bags. So this time round, maybe it never went there, but now there are books which the Auditor General came across and said, look, we, you have paid this uh, contract twice. So now the KRA officials, of course, they found the, the documents and they're like, now, okay, we had this one, but this one we never did, so give us the money. <laughs> you see, that, and that's <laughs> why I'm saying uh, some excellent Kenyans are being taken for a fool. Mm -hmm. Because one, auditors are in all these offices. And you see, and why I'm talking about the so much on withholding tax, eh? Mm -hmm. Withholding tax is not like VAT. VAT, I'm the one who will compute it and remit, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm able to say, I didn't make profit. Mm -hmm. So I'm, no, I'm not able to pay something. So I'm running on a negative. Right. But for withholding tax, when monies are being paid, is now the employer mm -hmm. who is remitting the money. Withholding tax is like payee. Okay. Okay? Withholding tax is like pay. In fact, withholding tax goes to KRA even before you receive the payments. True. Okay? Mm -hmm. It goes to KRA before you receive the payments. And that's why I'm saying all this needs to be looked into from KRA. We don't, we don't, know, we don't, only, we don't need only to look at this corruption, okay, that has, is being mentioned at county and the service provider only. No. We need to look it from KRA. Carrier. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then from this side, we shall get the whole truth. Okay. Then we shall know who is telling us lies. Because all these things, carry always distances itself and comes in maybe late to bring queries. All okay? Right. But it is there to help us, help the common Mwananchi, because these are the taxes that Mwananchi needs to get services from. Mm -hmm. Because once, you fail, once we fail to remit our taxes, then there won't be development. Then we won't have health. Then we won't have roads. Because from these taxes is mm -hmm. where now the government gets its own revenue. Mm -hmm. Apart from the, the debt that we borrow outside, the revenue collection in the country is what is being used for development and other service delivery Which to the Which is a lot and we are not seeing what it is doing. Yes. Uh, now, uh, yeah. now, the governor says, I'm still in power. Even after sitting uh, some level of power to the state he says i'm still the boss here 
uh, I may be out, but I'm still the boss. But now the, the question goes to the MCAs. You have given some powers. What is our role? That's the question. And they were meeting the president yesterday. Actually, they had a meeting at State House. And it was like, you're still the MCA of your ward. But they kind of feel like our roles have been taken. What's the picture? Now, for the, the problem of uh, the problem we have uh, with the MCAs is that now their oversight role has been clipped. Mm -hmm. When they want oversight over the health, who are they going to question? Now it is under the, 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 the national government. Mm -hmm. Will they call the minister for health and question that minister? No, so the because the minister, has changed. the the, the, minister, the the CS for health, mm -hmm. okay, should be questioned by the parliamentarians, not the C and, and, and not the MCS. Now you so see, so they've been undermined in a way. They have been undermined in one or the other, and that's why you see this thing was just between Sonko and uh, the and the, and, and the division secretary with the president and the Senate speaker. So in one or the other, mm -hmm. the Nairobi MCS are just but puppets. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. for, the, for the next two years, they are just going to be puppets in that city hall. Mm -hmm. They are not going to do anything. But you see, all these things, they failed long ago. The MCS themselves. Mm -hmm. Because they all saw this. But because they value their stomach, mm -hmm. then the future of Nairobians, mm -hmm. they decided to be silent. <coughs> so, Sorry. they failed long time ago. Now they cannot come and say they want to correct the mess right now. Mm -hmm. Because now the, the county, the city is under the president or the national government, mm -hmm. okay? And the governor, whom they cannot impeach at the moment. Yeah, actually when the, uh, during the meeting the president called, uh, called them to come and said, there's no need for impeachment. Yeah, they cannot impeach. Politically it. things will not be good uh, yes. and also will be spending a lot of money. And also, not leave alone spending. W w have we not spent money in Kiambu? Mm -hmm. We've not spent for money for, 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 the, for the new governor. But for, 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 but for Nairobi to be a by election because we don't have a deputy. But you see, but Nairobi, we've not had a deputy for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay? We've not had a speaker mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. But things have been running. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we cannot take uh, this to be a special case. No. Okay, we only need to be serious, and someone somewhere is sleeping. Mm -hmm. And what we Kenyans need to do is we need to get fully informed, okay, so mm -hmm. that we exercise our rights. When we are going to vote, let us all be vigilant. Let us know why are we voting, and what are our expectations. But our promise, the promises we get <coughs> are so sweet that you don't look at the person; you look at what he is offering. That is now the culture that we need to get out of. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we are fooled by the promises. Mm -hmm. And the promises that we given by the politicians, none of them deliver the promises they give us once they are now in the office. Mm -hmm. Because the power that was given to the people, the power to recall, it is not with the people. It is the, still, it rests with the MCS, the MPs, and the senators. Mm -hmm. Because if today you impeach a governor, he'll go to the Senate and survive in one or the other. Mm -hmm. You've collected the signatures to impeach him. You have all the reasons. But this person will go to the Senate and be re re reinstated as a governor. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, have you exercised your rights? No. You will feel like you are nobody in this country. Mm -hmm. When an, you recall an MP, the MP still goes and has to be, okay, mm -hmm. be, be vetted or be confirmed uh, to, be, to be recalled by the other MPs. Mm -hmm. But they will always defend their own. And that's the problem we have. Yes. Protecting our so own. So these are some of the things that we need to sit down and look into, especially this constitution, as much as we are running to make amendments on the constitution, mm -hmm. these are some of the things, the privileges that we need to sit down as a people mm -hmm. and they interrogate and look into them and now think on a strategy on how we are going to work out. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Law Society of Kenya needs to come in mm -hmm. and educate the people. Okay, it is, why, it is part of their mandate.
-hmm. It is part of their duty to enlighten the people. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this serves like, let me say, the, the legal advisor to the people. Mm -hmm. Where now the people will seek they will seek to get assistance from when they feel mm -hmm. that they are being what? Shortchanged. Okay. So we need to, uh, to up our game as voters, mm -hmm. as leaders. Mm -hmm. Let us all play our role all in right. the best way. Uh, <coughs> the president uh, called on, on the MCAs to quench down their thirst to impeach and majority of the people of which you could say they are jubilee uh, members in the county assembly. Yes. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are for the president, but now the minority speak, uh, minority uh, speak of the Nairobi. Minority whip. Minority um, whip. Yeah, yes. Imotok says he, <coughs> he will launch the motion tomorrow and he will move it. Do you think at this point, with the MCs having been told by the president, come on guys, let it go. Uh, from the day this issue was being raised, uh, I knew it won't go anywhere. Looking at the body language of the speaker, mm -hmm. okay, I knew it won't go anywhere. It was just that, let us just do it for the sake of doing, mm -hmm. okay? But at the end of the day, it won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. That is one. Two, the majority of the MCAs and even the governor himself is for the Jubilee party. Mm -hmm. So the Jubilee may not be able or we, we may not agree to lose the seat mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Because they don't, they, they, they have not identified who will manage the county. But if the, MC, if the county had a deputy governor, okay, mm -hmm. for example, if a gather could still be there, then this could work out easy, okay? Because at the end of the day, the deputy governor will just take over, All right. okay? Mm -hmm. And run the county the way Kiambu is being managed at the moment. Right. But right now, there's a big crisis. Now, to manage the crisis is to ignore the impeachment. And what Imatok is doing is just by trying to speak, but in the real sense, mm -hmm. he won't do it because in one way or the other, the governor won't be impeached. It, he won't be impeached. He won't. Uh, but, but also, uh, okay, we're running out of time, uh, but I want us to, uh, to touch on if the impeachment goes through. We'll have uh, questions of political stability and also considering Nairobi is a business hub, what happens now? Because we've already had uh, problems. Now, if now... Na, 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 na impeachment comes through mm. as now the, the, the national government has taken over some, uh, some services eh? mm -hmm. and some ministries to manage. I believe the, 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 the county won't go for an, a, a by-election. Mm -hmm. Now the county will be taken over by the national government. Completely. Completely. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is the scenario that will be created right now. Mm -hmm. So we won't go for an election. But now a minister will be put in place to manage, or it will just be put under the Minister of Devolution, so for it to be managed, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But now talking of an, uh, a by-election within the city, no, it won't work at the moment. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind the, 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 we are nearing an election two years from now, then another thing, the costs of election, mm -hmm. okay? Then another thing, the, 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 the BBI thing. So. We, you looking at all these scenarios, mm -hmm. we may not have an election in Nairobi per se, but the Nairobi County will be taken over by the national government. And will that be holding the people of Nairobi at ransom? Yes, in it terms will. Of services to be delivered. Yes, it will. Because mm -hmm. one, who will now oversight the 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 the, 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 C, the CECs who are supposed to be there, and there'll be no CEC at the end of the day. Now, when the national government takes over. Now this is another, mm -hmm. another management. Now the MCS will only be there to legislate, okay. but not oversight. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. because they need to oversight the executive. They only be there to legislate. All right. Now that's Nairobi County and uh, the state. You've clearly heard of some of the things that you might change if this continues, especially that of impeachment of the governor if it will go through the. 
uh, County Assembly of Nairobi tomorrow, Peter Mwatok is undermined that he will move the motion. So it's a wait and see scenario. Coming up next is Val with Matters Health. You need to know more about the earring and it's very important in your life and uh, body as much. He has been my guest, uh, political analyst Cyrus Litswa. My name is Derevoa Hilewi. Good morning.